This is Come and See with Father Philip Hall, turning to and following Christ in the 21st century. Father Philip is parish priest at All Saints of Lincolnshire Orthodox Church in Lincoln, England. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, God is one. Amen. Begin by reading Ephesians chapter 2, verses 4 to 10, and then Luke chapter 18, verses 18 to 27. The rich man had a feeling he could buy his way into eternal life. He had inherited wealth. He was, by ordinary standards, a nice person. What would eternal life cost him? A hospital, perhaps, or a school, or a university seat. Should he endow a library, or open an orphanage, perhaps? The Lord took it closer to him. How do you behave? It looks as if his behaviour was good. Perhaps, though, the rich man thought, I deserve to go to heaven. But the Lord realises that the rich man's wealth lacked three important things. Firstly, he lacked generosity. He lacked the ability to throw everything away. Give away all those bits of wood and metal and shiny stones that hold you back, says the Lord. They won't bring you to heaven. Secondly, he lacked the ability to put all of his trust in Jesus Christ God. He couldn't do it. He couldn't allow the Lord to take care of his soul. And thirdly, he lacked Jesus himself. His bits of metal, his bits of wood, his nice shiny stones and carved wood were what he trusted in. He wanted to keep them and he wanted to follow wherever they would take him. Preferably he would like some more of them. The Lord he could not follow. So he is rich in knick-knacks and absolutely destitute when it came to God. It's easy to make idols of our own possessions and very easy to end up being possessed by them. There's nothing you can do that will buy your salvation, nothing at all, except this one thing, and that is drop absolutely everything and come as fast as your feet will carry you to Christ and then go wherever he leads you. Whatever he chooses for you to do, that do. You see, God loves you. You could even say in a sense that God is besotted by you, his creation. He spent all of infinity thinking about how to make you. And he infinitely desires to bestow the gift of salvation, of eternal life, upon you. Therefore, whatever is in the way, whatever it might be, bits of metal, bits of paper, bits of plastic, shiny stones, carved wood, all sorts of things like bricks and mortar and all those other things that we put our trust in, whatever it might be, all of these things in the end become idols. Rid yourself of them and come follow him. Follow him wherever he takes you. Your prayers. God bless you. Amen. Join us again next time for Come and See with Father Philip Hall, a listener-supported presentation of Ancient Faith Radio.